strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... Ah! Ah! I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll uh, see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... Ah! Ah! Run, Moo Moo! There's a monstrous uh, monster! Uh, don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we'd better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Moo Moo, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh. don't do it. If you mess with the lion, do he's it. going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. <laughs> it's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist, but I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A vicious <laughs> lion is going to devour us all! I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the treehouse. Don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a tree house so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going
gonna sleep here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah. on, quit crying and help us finish it. Yay! for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alfred, quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm going to go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Moo Moo. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I... I saw a rat! What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical! I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please, a rat. See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Uh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm going to have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh. But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? Ow! I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. You know what? 
We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Mumu until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Mumu until Mumu just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. Mm, that seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now. Just do it. Just do it. But quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs>